kizuizi cha kwanza kinachoweza kumzuia Mungu kukuongoza ni maisha ya dhambi kwa sababu dhambi inawatoa yes. watu kwenye utaratibu wa kimungu alafu Mungu afukiagi dhambi anangoja utubu and God does not cover sin is waiting for you to repent watu wasiofuata utaratibu wa kimungu hawezi kuongozwa na Mungu people who do not follow the instructions of God cannot be led by God so kama unaishi kwenye maisha ya dhambi so if you live the life of sin manake hawezi kutembea katika uwezesho ama katika uongozi wa kimungu that means you cannot walk under the spiritual guidance hakuongoze kama nani kwa sababu unapo tena dhambi unajiondoa kwenye utaratibu hichi ndicho kilichotokea pale edeni this is what happened at the garden of eden adui alienda kuvuruga utaratibu wa kimungu the enemy went there to destroy the instructions of god kwa wanadamu at men Mungu akawaambia hiki na hiki msifanye. God told them this and that and that don't do. Wao wakachukulia kawaida tu. But they ignored it. Wakavuruga utaratibu. They destroyed that order. Na walivuruga utaratibu wa kimungu. And after that, Mungu akaacha kuongoza. God stopped. Tena Mungu mwenyewe akasema ni kweli nimewaumba lakini nitawatupa. And God said that he truly have killed you but I'll throw you out. Sikiliza mwana usije ukaje ukafikiri Mungu amebadilika ni yeye yule jana leo na sasa. God has changed He's the same yet today and Mungu aliwaumba wanadamu wa kwanza waliokuwa wa thamani sana machoni pake God created the first human beings were very important lakini walipokosea utaratibu wa Kimungu wa kuendelea kuongoza alisema ninawatoa edeni but, wataenda kujishughulisha wenyewe huko nje Get go but when they erred when they fell God not keep them but he threw them out wakashangaa wametupwa they were surprised they were thrown out of the garden wakatupa nje they were thrown out ile wanashangaa na nasema najua njia ntarudi wakutana malaika amesimamishwa kwenye njia anaambiwa and to come back they saw the njia of the lord that stood at the gate mesha ondoka kwenye uongozi wa kimungu they are now outside the gate sasa nenda nimkapambane na maisha so go wakaanza kutumia akili zao they started now to use their own mind maisha yakawa magumu the life was wanazaa watoto watoto wanauana wenyewe kwa wenyewe they have children children raised against each other yani ni hatari ni vurugu mpaka na leo is a commotion until today wanadamu men wa kwanza the first man nicho alichofanya adui that's what the enemy did so kila wakati ambapo dhambi inakufuatilia manake na kuondoa kwenye utaratibu wa kimungu ili ipate uwezo wa kukuondoa kwenye uongozi wa kimungu so every time the sin is approaching you The aim is to get you Na sikwa sababu nyingi sana lazima ukae mbali na dhambi. There, there are many reasons for you to stay away from dhambi. Sin inafuta ahadi za Mungu kwenye maisha yake. It leads the promise of God in your life. Mungu aliwaumbia wanadamu wakaishi Edeni milele bila shida. God created men to live in Eden. Lakini dhambi ilipoingia. But when sin entered. Hao wanadamu walifukuzwa katika Eden. These people were chased out of Eden. No matter how many prophecies you receive. I regalishi kwamba una nabii kiasi gani. The moment you engage yourself in sin you delete and you start one punde unapoingia katika dhambi inafuta ile nabii na unaanza upya kama Mungu aliweza kufuta wale wanadamu walioambia Edeni kaeni hapa akawaondoa who are you if god took away the people who promised to be in the unajua kama Eden, Mungu angetaka kutunza angeanza na Edeni si ndio if god maana hakuwa hata na sampuli nyingine si ndio hakuwa na wanadamu wengine alikuwa ni hao hao lakini akawatupa but god took them out of the garden of eden after they sinned Jichunge na dhambi kwa sababu dhambi huwa inaingilia utaratibu wa Kimungu. Be aware with the sin because sin intervenes. Na inapoingilia utaratibu wa Kimungu inamzuia Mungu kuongoza wewe. And it stops God from guiding you. Dhambi inaaibisha pia. Sin is also put people to shame. As if he dhambi zake, whoever hides their sins hatafanikiwa. Will not succeed. Dhambi inazuia mafanikio. Sin hinders success kuna watu wengi kuna mahali mngetakiwa mfike lakini kwa sababu ya dhambi za siri mafanikio hayo hawezi kufika many people because oh of sacred God. sin you cannot kuna watu reach your destiny kufanya sio tu kuomba ni kuacha tu dhambi alafu mfanikiwe some people what you have to do is to stop sin and then you have your kuna breakthrough. watu mnachotakiwa ni kuacha tu kuna vitu lazima uache yani kuna vitu vya kuacha the moment you stop that thing it is the moment God will bless you kuna vitu ambavyo unapaswa viache punde tu ukiacha vitu vingi ambavyo vimekungangania unaona bila hivyo uwezi kuishi the moment you say i don't to want this again and i choose jesus christ it is the day now jesus christ will start to go kuna vitu ambavyo unasema bila hivyo na kuna vitu vingine lazima uviache kwa maumivu there are things we must leave them with the pains kwa sababu dhambi huwa ina tabia ya kufariji ina tabia ya kukuonyesha utakuwa salama hamna shida 
is a, is a way of Sini showing Nipali. God see that when you eat you see mara moja tu unafanya mara moja mara moja tu kidunchu kidunchu you just do once a little bit just once a little bit inakufariji the sin comforts dhambi ni tamu kwa kitambo lakini na machungu ya vizazi sin kama it look sweet seasonally but it has umesimama na Mungu kama na kuanguka but you stay with god before you fall unaanguka kwenye uzinzi and you fall only unaanguka kwenye ulevi you fall in na ulivyo una hofu ya Mungu utafuti hata watumishi wa Mungu utafuta unaendelea kujitutumua and you continue to encourage yourself dhambi sin inazuia watu kuongozwa na Mungu hinders people from being led by god Mungu hawezi kukuongoza maana dhambi imekutoa kwenye utaratibu god cannot guide you because sin have taken you sema kila mnyororo wa dhambi kwenye maisha yangu kila mnyororo wa dhambi kwenye maisha yangu sema kama mtu mwenye imani sema every kind of chain kila aina ya mnyororo wa dhambi mnyororo wa dhambi kwenye hatima yangu mnyororo wa dhambi kwenye hatima yangu uvunjike katika jina la Yesu uvunjike katika jina la Yesu sema kila njia anayotumia shetani kila njia anayotumia shetani kunirudisha nyuma kunirudisha nyuma kwa jina la Yesu aliha kwa jina la Yesu aliha nakataa nakataa lose in Jesus name uvunjike katika jina ondoka ondoka sema dhambi iliyotembea na mama yangu ikatembea na baba yangu na inanifuatilia na mimi kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu nakata huo mnyororo nakata huo mnyororo say lose achia break it in Jesus name nani anaweza kuomba watu wanajihurumia hapa kuna eneo unajua adui anakufuatilia wengine ni uzinzi wengine ni tamaa wengine ni uongo Tayoro kwa jina la Yesu. Mungu ni mwabudu wa kukemea. Mwache huyo mtumishi. Mwache huyo dada. Mwache huyo kijana. Mwachie tangu leo. Daudi anasema mama yangu alinichukua mimba atiani. Kila atia ya dhambi inayotembea na mafuatilizi juu ya wazazi wako na baba zako na mama zako. Kwa jina la Yesu. There are four people here. One is a man, three are women. Mmoja ni mwanaume. Na watatu ni wanawake. I see something is going on. Ninaona kitu kinaendelea kwenye kitovu chako sasa hivi. It is over. I say it is over. I say it is over. Get out! Out! Come out! You spirit of darkness, I'm here to say that it is over. Niko hapa kusema imeisha. Niko hapa kusema imekwisha. Hicho kilichokaa kinachofuatilia kitovu. Kinachofuatilia agano la kitovu la kwao. Get out! Piga kirondo kamwache nasema nenda utaenda. Unataka utaki utaenda. Umejipanga hujajipanga utaenda. Umejiandaa au hujajiandaa utaenda. Lazima utumishi wake uinuke. My God, nguvu bado iko hadi huko nyuma. In the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Speak out. Out. Ibo mwisho tangu sasa kwa jina la Yesu. Out in the name of Jesus. Get out. Pa 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 in the name of Jesus achia uvamizi wa kipepo kwa mlango wa dhambi 